Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm really happy to be joined by an old friend of mine, Dr. Bradley Youngren, who's the Chief Medical Officer of 98.6, an AI-powered text-based mobile platform where U.S. board-certified physicians can provide primary care. Dr. Youngren brings nearly 20 years of experience working as a physician and still practices as an emergency medicine doc at Evergreen Health, where he also serves as a medical director of emergency preparedness, trauma, and urgent care. He has also earned both the Bronze Star and the Combat Medic Badge for his service in Iraq as a U.S. Army physician. So for our audience, one of the first things we like to begin with is just how did you get involved in, uh, in healthcare? What made you decide to become an emergency doc and also to enlist in the Army? Yeah, I went to the military medical school and got, and I was very interested in uh, disaster and humanitarian medicine. So that was the primary reason I had gone into emergency medicine and did spend a fair amount of time in my military years supporting that uh, that area of work. What happened, obviously, post 9-11 was we found a lot of us were downrange supporting soldier care in Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts. And I got involved in procuring technology on the battlefield and really saw early on how that scaled to save lives. It sort of ended up being a really pinnacle change for my career, right? really started to focus on medical device and digital healthcare technologies and how those can save lives at a larger scale. That led me to my first uh, chief medical officer job at Movasante back in 2013 when we met, 2012 timeframe, and then um, spent some time at a global health company before moving to Q Health, which is doing at-home uh, lab testing and diagnostics, and then came to 98.6 at the end of 2016. The last question is, you're your physician, you've done a lot of innovative things and maintained your practice. What advice do you have for current uh, students who are considering careers or already on their journeys uh, to careers in healthcare? It's so easy now to look back to graduate med school in 1999, but I struggled to figure out what residency to do, what was, you know, and I think in the end, I made a decision which was right for me at the time, which wasn't about tech, but it was about this motivation around disaster humanitarian medicine, because that was losing my heart. Finding what's in your heart and going after that, you'll be a better doctor for it. And finding mentors in that space that can guide you, that you look ahead 20 years and you find those people, whether it's technology and healthcare, whether it's traditional healthcare modalities, finding uh, role models and mentors is critical. I find them now when I got into digital healthcare, I started me meeting with uh, Dr. Bill Krauts, who was the CMO of Microsoft at the time, because I just wanted to talk to people who had been in positions in technology and those kinds of relationships are incredibly valuable to me even today. So from a medical student perspective, that's critical. You never know which ways the financial real world will turn. Don't don't select bodies of work based on financial remuneration. Uh, find it based on motivation and things that you'll get up. You want to get up every morning and be excited about the work you do. That's how that's how medicine is a long lasting career. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash raised line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.